Hello! Thank you for joining Only in Sedona Yoga for this seated 10-minute chair yoga routine. It's perfect for when you need a workday break or you're recovering from an illness or injury. Let's talk to our mats. Okay, beautiful yogi, sit tall on the edge of your chair, but before we begin moving our body, close your eyes and just take two or three deep breaths for me, inhaling for a count of four, and exhaling for five or six. So clear your lungs and inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Do that one more time. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Now start to add some motion with a seated cat cow. Four, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Stay facing the way you are just so you can get a little better view. You're arching up, your hands are on your thighs, and you're exhaling for five as you dip your chin in and really round that spine. Give me two or three more. Hmm. You can smile and sigh as you exhale. Research shows that smiling even if you don't feel like it, start to alter your mood and mindset. Bring yourself up, sitting nice and tall. Take a deep breath of air as you stretch your arms overhead. And just interlace those hands however is comfortable and we're gonna pump back. So you're gonna pulse as you stretch open the back. Exhale, just dip in slightly. In and exhale. You'll really feel the mid to upper back start to open as you have the arms elevated. One more. And then just take your right hand, grab your left wrist, take it to the side for a breath or two. You can look up towards that elbow. And maybe try that sigh and smile again. Ah. Switch your hands. And take that to the other side. Ah. We're going to go into a seated forward fold. So take a nice deep breath of air. Extend your legs comfortably. They do not have to be perfectly straight. Come on down over those legs and then just let your spine collapse. Maybe sway from side to side as you let the lower back and hamstrings release. If you sit a lot, your hamstrings can get tight and that can tug on your low back and contribute to pain. So. Do this stretch, it may help. And when you've had enough, come rolling up, bring your feet in sitting tall. We're going to go into a seated side angle. So take a deep breath of air and lift overhead. And as you exhale, your left arm comes down between those feet. Look up towards that extended hand. Reaching, stretching, breathing. Oh. And we're going to take that to the other side. So reach up tall again, grow an inch, and then the right hand comes down between those bent legs. Looking up, 
stretching through the side body. And if you don't come all the way to the floor, if you're holding on to your calves, that's okay. If you want to place a block right here, that's another option for you. And then come on up out of this one with a deep breath. Inhale. Take that left leg. Cross it over your right. Place your hands on your ankles and above the knee. You never want to press on your delicate knee joint. And just lean slightly forward, opening up that hip. Breathe as you stretch. Keep that steady pace of breathing. Helps engage your parasympathetic nervous system, the side of your autonomic nervous system that you rest and digest. Huh. Bring it on up, and we're just going to gently switch sides. So cross that other leg. Again, you're holding above the knee, not on the knee itself. Lean forward from the hips. If you want to sway a little bit, you can. If you want to hold stationary, that's good too. And come on up out of this one. Bring both feet flat on the floor. We're going to do a seated twist. So lift both arms up overhead. And then take your left arm, reaching around your body, grabbing the back of the chair, and give me a twist. And if that's too much, if you're here, that's fine too. Use that chair as a tool to help you relax that spine. you've had enough come on up sitting tall and just take that stretch to the other side And come on back. We're going to close our practice by easing any neck tension. So just go ahead and let your chin drop down to your chest. Roll your left ear towards your left shoulder. And if you want to deepen, hold on to the edge of your chair. You'll really feel a great opening right here on the side of your neck. And gently roll back through center when you've had enough. Gently roll to the other side. Again, you can use the bottom arm to deepen this stretch. I wouldn't recommend pressing on the head, but if you want to take a single fingertip, if that helps you, that's fine. Or just leave your other hand on your lap. And come center. Finally closing almost the way we began. Give me a cat cow. So lifting, arching into cow. And as you round into cat, take your right arm, wrap it around your left into eagle arms, and just really open up the top part of that back. Yeah. 
and an inhale brings you up and let's do that again so first begin by inhaling the cat and as you exhale now this arm comes out wraps around the other eagle arms oh. sit up nice and tall shake off that work Bring your hands to heart center as we close our practice with a namaste.